everyone. It is Michelle here with ProdigyHelp.com, and I am currently doing my first grade race. So if you are a first grader, you are welcome to join my class. I'll have the um, code in um, the comments for you to go over. Right now, this race, I'm currently a level five. I'm going to go to... Let's go to a level eight and then we'll stop the video. These are first grade questions. Now I have other videos if you are a first grade student that you wanna learn math that I take a little bit longer, but this is our race videos. So I'm just answering the questions and we're moving on. Um, let's see this. Um, we're gonna attack. I'm um, using batter up because batter up is a much better spell. Hold on. All right, fix the frame. 10 plus 10 we know is 20 and we'll cast the spell. Again, level five, we're working to hit level eight. And then we'll take a break after eight for this video. Okay, we're trying to complete the pair to get a sum of five. So I know that four plus one is five, and I know that two plus three is five. Oh yeah, we got Scaly. Didn't quite level up yet, so that's all right. Let's open our chest. Another old sock, yay! I'll later on teach you how to do stuff with that, but not in this video, because we're in a race. One, two, three. Here comes our next. Um, let is, let's go to the merchant, though, just to see what's going on. The merchant wants fireflies help them they're tricky so that's pretty much what the merchant had to say just he wants fireflies now i have not figured out in this um iteration of prodigy in the past iterations you used to be able to find a merchant and sell them your old socks well done. i know there is a merchant um there's Wait, flora for you. look here's a firefly that we can try to catch before it flies away um, let's see what happens when we go back. He just says collect fireflies, I guess. Oh, we need f oh, the next reward it said was five, so we need to try to catch five fireflies. Um, let's see what this merchant has. All right, these are just outfits, um, so we don't have to worry about that. Well, all right, this is where you can up your stuff and really look awesome and have more power. So you don't have to worry about buying the toys, but look at like this hat. If I, once I get five relic coins, I can buy it and earn 40 more hearts. Um, this hat I can, or the rod gets me 40 more. Um, each of these things, it looks like gives us um, 40 more damage, 40 more hearts. So we will go back when we collect more. Look, we just met Bate, Bata, or David Battleshine. All right, let's just keep playing because I'm teaching you too much. Prodigy's fun. I play this like time. Ooh, a wizard battle. Not just about a monster. We're going to attack Millie. We're trying to get the sum of five again. Not sure why this question repeated. Good thing got us through quicker, huh? Ooh, Millie also has 240. Oh, we're trying to get 15. 8 and 7 is 15. 8 and 7 again is 15. And 9 and 6 is 15. How many are in group A? There are two in group A. Now remember, this video is just to play. Man, I thought we would have gotten Millie. Didn't happen. We might level up after defeating Millie, though. Look how close we are. Uh -oh. Your hearts are low. At times like this, just... Okay, so I'm not going to switch because here's a trick. If you switch in the middle of battle before the current thing that you're fighting is gone, 
they will attack you one more time. So if I switch to Pico, even though Pico has 120 hearts, Millie is gonna attack me and I don't want Millie to attack me. So I'm gonna stay with my avatar, hoping to get Millie. Now, if Millie defeats me here, that's okay. Then I'll switch to Pico and not lose another chance. Um, how many people picked fish? Fish is right here. Going across, 16 people picked fish. So I personally, unless like, let's say I'm in Barnacle Cove and I, for some reason, I have a fire pet, which makes no sense because you get tons of damage with fire pets. Oh, side note, did you notice that we leveled up to level six? When you level up, you re-get your hearts back. So I, see, I didn't even need to switch to Pico. And we beat Millie. Um, but anyway, I would change my pets. Like if all of a sudden I forgot and I started with the fire pet, like it wouldn't make sense to be a fire pet in Barnacle Cove, which is made out of water because water like critically hits fire. So just kind of like only switch if it makes sense. But most times I wouldn't switch. Um, don't stop me now. We mastered five skills, which increased. Now we have to master 20 skills before we can get that achievement. Um, I don't know if I can reach that firefly where he is. So I'm just going to um, keep going on the quest because we're trying to level up to level eight. Um, we will get this right here. Um, we are looking for a magic stick. We got our, oh, there it is. We got the enchanted stick. Now, here's a tip. You can follow this hand all the way back. I do not recommend doing it. I'm a person who likes to learn math, do math, and achieve quests. So the best way to do it, to skip everything, is you go down here and click the map icon. When you click the map icon, any of these places that aren't dark, so in essence, everything except the dark or the academy in the middle, you can go to. I'm going to go back to Firefly Forest, but watch what happens when I go back to Firefly Forest. Oh, I go one. right back to the start. So when you go on longer quests, you're going to go like level um, boards and boards away from your center. So it's really important that you, if you want to get the quests done so you can level up, it's better if after you have achieved each little quest, instead of walking all the way back to Flora, hit the map and just show back up where you left off. After, if you follow the path and while you're... Okay, we don't need to do the healing stone, but now we do have to do all that walking all over again. See, level eight, it gets harder. You know, your first levels, you're like, man, I got this. Five levels in 10 minutes. Not here. I wonder what Abraham's thinking about when he walks. Probably like, oh my gosh, I have to fight. I think that's Sprite. Let's see. Oh, it's Pumprico. Let's pack Pumprico with our batter up. How many people are in group A? Two? Let's put my head over here. Good one, 72. High five. Your opponent is okay. We could catch Pumprickle right now. You need 500 coins to attempt to catch a monster. I don't recommend catching monsters that are only level two. Eventually, the higher you level up, you're gonna be battling more challenging monsters and it still only costs you 500. So I typically will not start even thinking about capturing monsters until I'm at least like level 15, but that's just me. 20 minus 11 is nine. Correct. All right, we just defeated Pumprickle. Got halfway up our level six, so maybe about two or three more um, medals and we'll be able to hit level seven. And we got our gold coins. Goodbye, membership stars. One, two, three. We got another achievement. We got a thousand coins, and now we're trying to get a hundred thousand coins. That's a thousand battles. That's fair. All right, looks like we're gonna go against this guy here. I want to say Trickle, but it's not. Let's see who he is. Trip Trop. I knew that. Trip Trop. Um, we had this one already. Twenty minus eleven is nine. Seventy. 
We're doing good. Uh, 50 minus 15 is 35. All right, trip trap is gone. Nice job. It only took us two tries. And look, we leveled up. Whenever we leveled up, we get more hearts. We won. Let's get our 100 coins. And then we got, oh, we also got relic coins. We don't care about membership coins. We'll wave them goodbye. One, two, three. There you go. Next. I'm glad we leveled up. Now we just have to level eight. Come on, come on. Let's continue with the hand. There's the heel step. Okay, we don't need the heel stone now because we just leveled up. We are trying to defeat three of um, these different wizard saplets. So probably will be where we want to be after we defeat the three of them. Um, what is the shape? That shape has five sides. It's a pentagon. What is this shape? Uh, this shape has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. So it is an octagon. I like to use a pen sometimes just so I don't miscount when I rush. All right, the first saplet is defeated. We have two more saplets. I, you know, I'm pretty sure we're probably gonna hit level eight after defeating the next two saplets. Um, I may need to heal myself or I might play Pico. Actually, now that I think about it, let's play Pico in this next thing. One, two, three. Um, this is how you switch to Pico. Down here is pets. These are our two pets. We're, right now, this is highlighted. That means we're switching it. I'm going to just oh, hit next. So I'm going to hit Pico and put Pico on the first base. So now, well, let's try to get this firefly first because we're trying to get uh, nuts. We're trying to defeat Saplet two times. Now here's the trick. I'm playing Pico, which means that my avatar is not gonna level up. You can only level up the avatar that's playing. So let me show you, we did that, uh, it's a pentagon. So Pico is gonna level up quickly and is not as strong on Saplet, but um, it does cost me not being able to level up my other avatar. One times one is one. Okay. It goes still going and hit a miss. Thank goodness. Uh, four times five is 20. I think they're jumping me up to second and third grade material, which I don't want them to yet, but... That's fine, we defeated the saplet. Pico just leveled up to level two. Remember, every time any of your pets or you level up, um, your hearts get restored. Um, we'll get just the ornate, or not the ornate chest, just the wooden chest. Goodbye, member stars. We don't need them, because we like to do math. One, two, three. Hit the next button. We unlocked another achievement, Monster Hunter. We defeated 10 monsters. Mm. Let's be try to be sneaky and miss that saplet just so we can catch that firefly. Um, we do have to defeat one more saplet, see? So we have to be in this battle. Oh, it's my level two Pico against a level three Saplet. So they will be more effective against my avatar. Again, one times one is one. Looking good. Not too bad. 39. That would look, we got lucky on that shot. One divided by one is also one. Mitch. 
Worst apple you missed. 20 divided by 5 is 4. <laughs> I'm just realizing that we probably should switch. Pico will hit level 3. Um, I'm going to switch my pets and go back to um, my other avatar. Because as much as I want Pico to go up, I'm not trying to evolve Pico. One, two, three, hit the button. All finished. Um, I am just going to hit the map so I don't have to do all the walking back to the grassy clearing. Or to well the big tree. Done. Laura's happy. Fire, we get gold. Let's go back on the quest again. Um, actually, before I go, let's switch the order and put my avatar first. Cool, we might get this firefly. Come here, firefly. No, no, no. We're going after you. Come on, come on. He's like flying away from us. Ah! Yay, we got it. Now we'll keep going on our quest. Has my dog next to me, and he's so cute. Oh, let's go quickly before um, Scally comes to life. So when it's faded, you don't have to battle them. So not that we, uh, not that we can't battle them, which we are, but it's quicker to go um, on the journey. But it's all right. We need to level up to level eight anyway. So probably when we defeat this scally, we'll be fine. And Abraham will be ready. Not too bad. We're so close to level eight. It says it wants us using halves. We defeated Scaly. Let's see what happens. Yes, we hit level eight. Next. And we won. Let's open the chest. All right, we got our gold. Don't worry about the member stars. One, two, three. Next. All right, bugaboos, I'm going to stop here. Thank you for watching. This is Michelle with ProdigyHelp.com. Again, we're, this is our race video, so I'm not taking the time to explain how to do the questions. Um, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. And if you need more help with math, you could look at my other more informational and teaching videos. All right, I'm going to go now to see level eight to level 10. Make sure you catch my next vid. Ciao, friends.